Greetings there, Traveler. Is there something I can do for you? Hi, you're a member of Dahlia Corporation, right? A very astute observation, yes. News of us spreads far and wide. Actually, since you know of us, might I perchance ask a favor of you? Our team of cartographers in the Amalfia Desert hasn't come back from their exploration expedition. They were supposed to have been back three days ago and I haven't received any word from them. I fear something may have happened to them, stranger. If you would be so kind, I, would, I need you to map out the free locations that they were assigned with in the desert. And bring back any of their belongings. Dog tags, parcels, and anything of the sort. Ugh, oh, not the desert again. It's so dry and hot there. Okay, fine. Where are the free places in the desert you need mapped out? One team was sent to, a, to map Jade Walk Cliff. A second team was sent to map Freehorns Valley. And the last one was sent to the Dead Willows. Got it. Jade Walk Cliff, Freehorns Valley, and the Dead Willows. Let's not waste any time. I too fear the worst. Level 27. Okay, found one of them. Okay, this is the Freehorns Valley, right? This area has been mapped. Let's get going here. Oh no, monsters! Meljoneers. Okay, so... Each of the- uh, every time we find a pile of bodies, there's gonna be a random encounter. Okay, this is a Jade Walk Cliff. Uh-oh. More monsters. Okay, this is a Dead Willow, so this area has been mapped. Okay, let's see if we can get back to that man, Cassandra. Let's get going here. Oh no, monsters! Three salamanders. Hmm. Oh, for love of- not again! Is that a Wraith? No, it's not. It's a Dragon Hydra. It's not- it doesn't look quite as strong as some of the bosses I fought before, but still. Shield wall. It's got decent defense, that's for sure. Sword Upper. Oh no, my MP! Stun you. Lemonade. Sword Upper again. Assassinate. It's almost dead. Hmm. It doesn't have any spikes, so I don't have to worry about that. And dead. That probably was the monster that killed all those Dahlia Corporation men. Oh, come on! Seriously, do not let- Sending, those men are trained to fight monsters. Only sheep beings let their sl own slaughter. Yeah, you really need to do something about monsters moving during dialogue. Okay, good. The conversation continues. Wolf, enough. There's nothing more we can do for them. Okay, got- my oh, got the quest complete despite that weird hiccup at the end. That was freaking annoying. Oh 
Okay, it's all marked off. Hello there, stranger. This is kind of a sudden question to ask, but can I take you to our islands? What? Your islands? What do you mean by that? The race of Luxians inhabit a group of islands north of Amalfia. It's where a majority of the Luxians do business. Oh, if that's the case, then sure. Is this a trap? Do you mind if I ask what this is all about? Yes, a couple of months ago, a lot of people keep uh, kept reporting a large tower had appeared in their islands. Wait, I thought no one else could see the towers. No one knows where this tower came from, or, and when we approached it, all we could feel is hatred and anger. Oh no, it's one of those soul towers. So you know of what I speak. I would happily take you to the, the, our islands. The people there have a sense of uneasiness and fear among them, which isn't good for business. We have our own passenger ship that we can utilize to take you to our islands, if you choose. Simply speak to me again if you want to head for the islands. What level is it? I'm not... I may postpone it if it's... Yeah, it's pretty high, isn't it? Level 31. I wonder if I can handle it. Well, there are there is supposed to be a shop beforehand, so let's at least take a uh, take a look at that. Yeah, tent. What kind of? Okay, I don't, I don't see anything special here. Just ingredients. More ingredients. We're a small, tightly knit community here. Many of us Lexians are uh, around the world right now attempting to sell our wares. What do you have? Hmm. They have almost every uh, all the basic ingredients, huh? I'm worried about the tower in the north. It just showed up one day without warning. And am I not doing well enough as a merchant? In that case, I need to try harder. Money. Hmm. How... Oh, just how weak am I compared to the monsters there? I'm kind of scared. Depression times two. Death came to uh, uh, many for those who wanted their loss in the labyrinth of darkness. Hmm. Level 28. Hey, there's a basement here. What? That's r weird. Mithril scrap... Okay, let's go up in our floor. Whoa. Prisma obtained. High elixir times four. But downstairs. Alarm clock times three. Nerd item there. The heck is that? Level 31, yeah, let's. I'm gonna go grab some items first. Prisma armor. What. How good is that? Chance to negate magic. Hmm. 
I wonder if that chance stacks if you have a lot of Prisma gear. How about this opening here? Mithril Sword. Alright, let's hope this team is enough. It appears to be grounded, that's good. And we're faster than it. Defense plus on everyone. That was a lot, even with my defenses buffed up. Wow, is this gonna spam that? Unbelievable. How about no? Nurse Sword Upper to bleed you. Okay. Iron stands. This will determine if the enemy's attack is actually physical or magical. Hmm. Charge? Oh no, I think we should defend just in case. Exhaustion? Whatever it is, we survived it. Somehow. Assassination. <laughs> to be safe, apathy. Guarding. Swap out. Hmm. Gravity magic. Okay, it seems we can uh, somewhat.
Oh no! Purge, purge, purge! Down their defenses. Uh. A break arrow. Assassination. There we won. Magi Killer, Excellion Stone. What is an Excellion Stone? Again, I forgot. Defense bo booster. Looks pretty powerful. Silence touch. A dagger. Trustia Forest. What's of all these stationary enemies? Trevonite Mushroom. Non Village Adrestia Heavenglave Temple. Hmm. Orange. Old Hunter Greaves. Hmm. A gorge. Ah. Mithril scrap. Hmm. Level 30? The heck? It looks like an unavoidable enemy, too. Prisma Knight. According to the guide, these guys these can drop special weapons. Okay, let's go up. Mountain Path. Level 27 enemies, huh? Hmm. Seems to be a cubby hole here. Hmm, they're Dragon Egg. Those are stationary. But I wonder if attacking too many of them will provoke an actual dragon to try to kill me. What the? Another Prisma Knight? Hmm. Let's explore the rest of the area first. There is a chest I missed. Emerald Rapier. Hmm. Okay, what's in this cave? Inside Mountain Path 2. Mithril Boots. Another Prisma Knight? Is there anything else in this cave? Hmm. Let's 
so weird. So how do I continue? According to the forums, this sign is actually misleading. The north path does not actually lead to a mountain village, but rather a dead end. The, if I have to go east first, then maybe I'll have a chance to find my way. Ah, poison! But there is a chest. Harrowed gloves. I hope it was worth it. Ooh, I almost just set mushroom. Is there a way to prevent environmental damage? Hmm, I guess the, the blue ones are still dragon eggs, but I'm not sure I should fight them all. Okay, why is there... What is this, a cubby hole? Yes, it is, but it looks so different. It looks like man-made ruins. Umbra and Demon in the same sentence. Come on. Mithril bars. Looks like there's another path, but it's blocked, huh? Why is that thing stuck? Maybe I should try fighting it. Okay, let's keep going. Kind of difficult to navigate. How do I go over there? Oh no, there's a secret passage I missed, I think. We're mosey on over all this poison water again. Attack Relic plus two. Gonna need to cast some healing magic later. Something for this poison. Mithril scrap, but was it worth it though? Ow. Pain. Okay, what's the south? Hot Springs Village. Yeah, that was totally. That sign was so misleading. What the hell was wrong with it? Welcome to our humble village, stranger. Feel free to take a stop at our hot springs. It must have been an oversight. Wait, you just say hot springs? Yeah, it's a big building in the middle of town. Can't miss it. How could they mess up a sign like that? What was the developer doing? Maybe... Uh, like, how, this village is clearly uh, to the southeast, not to the north. Maybe... Maybe... Uh, uh, Rowan and Don are uh, editing all the signs to mislead us. That's gotta be it. After day in the hot springs bath, it always calms me down, and it makes my skin smooth. Staying here all day while the women parade around their suits is simply unconscionable. Money. Hey, I just got back from the hot springs to refresh my body. Don't look, Rubellum, don't look. Um, so this is the... The inn is the main bathhouse. Any other locations worth looking at? So quiet in our village. We don't have the numbers of people from Adrasia, but we're our own little community. No response. Hi there, Heart Springs apartment just opened up not too long ago at this location. We're only... Hmm. Sure. Wow, no kidding, this hot spring feels like heaven on earth. Hey Rubelm, are you doing alright? I don't know, Apple. At this point, I can't tell you. Maybe let's just take a moment to relax and think about good things. 
Yeah, good things. What good thing? What good things? We're fugitives, practically, and running, uh, dodging, and defending ourselves from humans. No good can come from being an Umbra. Nothing. I don't believe that. There's still good in your heart, Rubelm. I know it. I'm weak, unlike you. You're not weak, Apple. In fact, I think you're stronger than me right now. You're always so pure and innocent. You're always smiling and courageous. I'm t but I'm terrified. I made mistakes and I can't afford to make another one ever again. Two strikes already. I have to subside these feelings I have. Otherwise... Welcome to the Wraith Town population. You, correct? Uh, Apple, aren't you a little close to me? I mean, I can see your... I still believe in you, Rubellum. I know you will always do the right thing. Hmm, the right thing. You're right. For now, we should all just relax and get out all the negativity out. It's the only thing we can do for right now. That was good. I really enjoyed that. What about you? Continental Inn. Never used a Continental Inn before. Is that weird? I love bread, but I think it ordered too much. I spent a few hours soaking in the hot springs. It really relaxed my muscles and tension. Nothing of interest up here. The Soul Tower should be nearby, apparently. Oh, these guys can walk on poison no problem, but I, me, I take damage. Real fair. Also, I need to kill another one of these Prisma Knights to get their equipment. The Soul Tower... Oh, come on. Dick move. Madrasia Soul Tower. The Devil of Darkness shrouded this world in hate with wings spanning the size of islands and worlds alike. It's another one of those Soul Towers. We need to take care of the threat immediately. What's the level on this one? It's within my pay grade. Only one true power could ever erase their ignorance and bring about the calm we so desperately wanted. The Shallow. Prisma Helmet. Elixir. Indecisiveness times three. This one is structured more like a normal soul tower than the previous one. High potion times three. Chill pill. Harrowed boots obtained. Defense Relic plus 2. Prisma times 2. Okay, now I can continue into the next floor. What the? It's a, an orc or something? Level 30. Hmm. It has a spike! Real quick, just use purging shot. Ow! It, even though I took out the spike, it still friggin' retaliated against me. I hope it doesn't have the ability to reset the spike. Graceful. <sighs> Sword upper. Hey, actually stunned. But I can't break it. That's bad.
do some damage here. Deceit Strike. Normal Elixir Self. No! Oh, evaded? Nice. Haha. -ha. Hmm. Phantom Flash. Clairvoyance on Rubellum. No one hope. Oh, no. Is he going to enrage my entire party? Damn, I... That... Swap with Lilac. Please do not enrage the whole party. Ha! Huh. You got punched. You punched yourself. Clarity self. He still got his defensive aura. Okay, Violet Storm has been applied, so now I can use Hollowed Vine. Still got that counter stance. Hmm. Valkyrie Comet. Final Frost. Nice. That was a lot of chill. Oh no. Dead. Gorilla Claw. Okay, that completes the Soul Tower. Ah, oh, there was a hidden chest here. Behind this pillar. Tricky. Okay, are we almost there? Oh, there's yet another one of those guys. Yeah. Why is there so much poison around here? Yep, yeah, it's gonna kill off this one knight real quick. Heaven Glaive Temple. And there's a chest. Aether. Ah, so th this is a, an extra chest for Amalia. If someone managed to recruit her before then. Mithril Microphone. I wonder if I should... Is it worth going back to try to recruit her? I feel like the enemies are not quite at the same level as the boss yet. The boss is level 45, so I would not be ready at all. I should just keep staying with the story until it reaches the same level as... Uh, that as Amalia's quest. Heaven Glaive Temple. 
a one-way shortcut. The heck is the switch? Blue, so I can only go through one at a time, I guess? Way of the Sun. S the Sun and Moon can never coexist together, just like light and darkness. So do I just avoid the dark spots? No, I think I have to follow it. Oh man. It's gonna be tough. Two, three, four, five. Two left, one down. Left. What? A blue one? One, two, three, four. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. Keep going down until I'm lined up with the exit. There's a south path here. A north path here. What? And why isn't there anything in this corner? Okay, so go south. Mithril boot. Uh oh. Could be in here. We'll see here. Basics of music theory. Sure. Music is a language. It has parts that make up the whole, and those parts are made of even smaller parts. The, sen the sentence is made of words, and these words are made of letters. Learn how to make the sentence as a whole. You have to learn the letters of the alphabet, and learn how to put them into words. Then you have to learn certain words and put the how to put them into sentences. Music works the same way. You learn the alphabet, then put those pieces together to make musical phrases, and put those phrases those together to make a song. All music is made up of notes. A note is just any pitch made by a musical instrument. Every note in music has a letter name. The music alphabet is made up of only seven letters, A through G. This is because when we play the notes in order, the note that we would call H sounds like a letter A and we just start to set over. So the concept of starting on an A note and going up to B, C, D, E, F, G, and then starting over at A is something also called an octave. Same thing happens for the opposite direction as well. When you're going to the left you, or down the alphabet, you don't stop at A. You simply start over at the next lowest G, G and keep going. Jen Arend, music instructor at Springville. Even though the music alphabet is only made up of seven letters, that doesn't mean there are only seven notes. There are actually 12. The seven letters represent natural notes. Don't get hung up on this concept. Natural just means they are regular notes. They are just a regular alphabet letter named like A, C, or G. The other five notes fall in between these letters in the form of sharp notes or flat notes. We write these sharp notes and flat notes by adding either a sharp symbol or a flat symbol to the natural notes. A sharp note is one note higher in pitch than the natural letter it uses, so A sharp is higher than A. A flat 
note is one note lower in pitch than the natural letter it uses. So A flat is lower than A. I mean, notice that there are no sharps or flats between B to, to C and E to F. Now, that doesn't mean there is no such thing as B sharp and F flat. We just usually call them by C and E. Jen Aaron Music Instructor at Springville. And we'll see. Basics of music theory, sure. Music scales are a set of notes that we choose to use for a particular song. The most common to most of us is the major scale, although there are others like minor scales and even subclasses of minor scales. Form a scale, we proceed through the alphabet choosing notes that go together to achieve a particular sounding set. Most of the time we do this by putting together whole steps and half steps. Scales are usually presented to us in sequential order from one note C up to the other notes in the scale to the next note of the same letter named C. So for example, if you were to uh, were working in the key of C, your scale starts at C and goes up until the next octave C, like such. C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. Now notice the key of C has no sharps or flats. The key of D, however, has two sharps. D, E, F sharp, G, A, B, C sharp, D. We can refer to this uh, circle of fifths again, idea of on how the basic principles of scales and tonalities work. This is complicated. Good thing we have a guide, huh? Minor, major. Hmm. Jen Aaron, music instructor at Springville. What's that? What does that do? Is this back to, at the entrance now? The moon door is here. Huh. This is very weird. I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do next. Jump down? Should I? It's so weird. So if I flip this, does this cause the other one to close? Yeah. Ugh. Is it invisible? So it's just trial and error. There we go. More invisible paths, and also a sun door. They expect me to do the moon, uh, the sun door first. There are three different clefs that make up each uh, staff that we use in music. There's the treble clef, the bass clef, and the viola clef. Today we'll be going over the treble and bass clef. The treble clef is most commonly referred to in music as the G clef. This is because the loop that wraps around the line on the staff is actually the G note. That being said, the lines that make up the G clef staff are as follows. E, G, B, D, F. You memorize this by saying every good boy does fine. Next to spaces that make up the staff. F A C E. The bass clef, much like the treble clef, is referred to as the F clef. This is because the two dots on it are on either side of the F note. Easiest way to remember. The lines on the bass clef spell out just as much as the, the same way as the treble clef does, but in a different order. G B D F A. You memorize this by saying good boys do fine always. Next, the spaces that make up the bass clef. A-C-E-G. 
If at any time you need to count up or down from a, spe a specified letter, use the format of line slash space. Line sl slash space. These are called ledger lines. For example, this is a small 8 note rhythm in G clef and 10 F clef. Jen Aaron, music instructor. Let's start talking about the fundamentals of music making. How to actually write notes and put notes in. There are different classifications of notes considering the rhythm of your piece. For example, eighth notes, quarter notes, half notes, and then finally whole notes which cover an entire measure. Remember earlier when they said that in 4 slash 4 time, every four quarter notes make up one measure? Well, in that regard, two half notes would make up one measure, then one whole note does the same. Let's talk about ties and slurs for just a moment. There are lines that you see going from one note to uh, from note to note across measures or across different notes in the same measure. These ties and slurs signify you hold a note past the appropriate measure. For example, a half note that is on beat four of a four slash four time signature would be written as a quarter note tied to a quarter note on the next measure. The change pitch during the time you are holding a note is called a slur. For example, transitioning from C on B. A beat 3 to D on beat 4 would be written as two quarter notes tied together. Sometimes you'll see a dot next to a note. This dot extends the value of the beat of the note. In other words, if you see a quarter note with a dot next to it, the beat signifies a quarter note plus an eighth. In the same vein, a half note with a dot next to it signifies holding the note for three beats. And finally, a whole note with a dot, which is which, while not commonly used because it is easier to write tied, is the same as three half notes. This is so weird. Have any of you taken music classes before? No, my upbringing regarding music was quite sheltered. I would occasionally write some music, but what? I would have no idea what I was doing. I played solo when I was a little, but that was a lifetime ago now. No idea. This is all foreign to me. Hmm, looks like we're all learning today. Hmm, did Apple say anything? That one got set up again. What did that accomplish? Hmm. These buttons. Okay, they say the press a button, but it should be the opposite of where you're going. So if I start with blue... That might have been a bad idea. Actually, reload. I think I might have screwed myself over. This guy is just kind of confusing sometimes. I press yellow. Hmm. Go back through here. I should be able to get that chest. Star of Mars. Damn it. Is there any way to reset this shit? Hmm. Okay, I actually made it... Uh, uh, turns out that just flipping one... That one button also took care of this one, too. High magic drink. Okay, that... That means I didn't miss any chests now. Good. Just gonna go through here and instantly get teleported th this way, and I'll go through the blue side because it's easier. Yeah. Alright, now I have to do this music puzzle. Yeah, I figured that's what all those books are referring to. I'm not even musically gifted. What even gives? As Ravellum peers over the piano, the notes on the sheet music get, begin to fill in by themselves with the captions sing their song. What the hell? Did anyone just see those notes appear out of thin air like that? 
Seems like we can't progress until we do something in this room. Yeah, I get that, but I don't know how to play piano. Alright, alright, let's see what this is all about. The first note is... Second note... Pick the third one. Third note... Pick the second choice. Fourth note... Second choice again. Fifth note. First choice. Sixth note. Second choice. Seventh note. Second choice. Eighth note. First choice. Ninth note. Second choice. Final note. Second choice. Oh, that wasn't that bad, to be honest. Do you hear them at all, Rubellum? I did, I heard them singing. When they became an Umbra. Yeah, I heard that exact same melody. I did too, that really- and that re really means... We Umbra can communicate with each other, just like this. We he hear their voices, they're singing. We know how much they are hurting, crying, bleeding. If the Umbra are crying out for saving, that can only mean one thing. Yeah, I know that they're crying, but... Uh, but do we have to save them? We're saving the Umbra from humanity. Yeah, but... We're, we're, but we're no better than monsters if we... Is that what you really believe? No matter how many times we Umbra service up, humanity will always strike us down in fear. I would understand why, after I... Let's go confront Rowan and Dawn. Okay, save. I have everything I need here. Umbra mode. Let's hope I'm ready. Crickle Bell, proceed. Rowan, stop right now. Ah, uh, yes, Rebellum, Richard, and every single one of you. You're here to stop me, isn't that correct? You want to stop me from using the power of the Calypso to wipe out humanity's negative emotion. Why are you doing this, Rowan? I trusted you by my side. I am sorry, my dear king. But the endeavor that I have sought out for myself cannot be stopped. Not here, and certainly not now. What do you hope to gain by erasing humanity's emotions? Why do you use to orchestrate the calamity of Kingsridge? It was mine. It was my idea. I presented Rowan with the tale of the Calypso and how it could be used to destroy humanity's negativity. I want a world where we can both live in peace. And I would give anything, no, everything, to be with Rowan for the rest of my days. Even if it mean meant isolating ourselves in our own world without humanity. But why sacrifice humanity for your own sake? It's time, she is almost ready. Rowan, turn and face me, you pathetic coward. You have that rage and anger as well. I'm sorry that I had to deceive you all. I know nothing I say will make you believe me. But I have always acted in the better interests of the Umbra. Throughout history, we have been slandered, demonized, and pushed into the ground by humanity. Now with humanity more bold than ever, the Umbra need a shining beacon of hope. And we intend to do ju uh, just that with the power of the Calypso. Whoa, what the hell is going on now? Behold, the magnitude of the Calypso as it amplifies the will of the Umbra. 
You're both on your last strike. Are you not? Do you really believe you can withstand that power of utter destruction for, for, for humanity? That voice. It's the bird. The white bird. You have stood in their way for the last time, Erisu. I will protect the Calypso, just as I always have throughout history. But humanity has a place on the chessboard as well. They are the ones who de deified us. They are the ones who struck fear into their own hearts. Yet somehow there must be an equality in all things. The, the special of yours will ruin the world, Rowan. I sense her hatred for months, yours even. This vessel named Eternia. Eternia? Why does that name sound so familiar? Ugh, my head is starting to hurt. You know her. She rejects me singing to her. She is lost. She awakens. We are born of the chaos inside of our hearts. We are the born of the hu hatred humanity has uh, thrusted upon us. In the times of the failing Umbra, I call upon heroes who would stop this threat of the Calypso wiping out humanity. But I have made a grave mistake. She arrives to us now as a harbinger of destruction and chaos, meant to wipe out humanity under the fury of her own hatred. Where? Who? I know you, but I don't remember you. I know you, sister. You're not seriously thinking of moving and living on your own, are you? I am, but it's about time I started learning how to take care of myself, you know? I want to show you that I can be someone you can depend on. What do you think, Eternia? I want to go with her. She'll find something for my sickness. But you died. Can I please go with sis? Of course, Eternia. Rebellion will help you in any way she can. Of course, don't you worry, sis. I'll pr I promise to take care of you. That was a lie. There was no cure for her sickness. She had no a sickness which affected her motor skills gradually over time, to the point where she couldn't walk or even eat by herself. There wasn't a cure for it at all, so I studied for hours and hours on end to make something that could at least help her. But all I could do was watch her suffer and cry out. Come on, oh, come on, there has to be something in here. Maybe I can get Lilac to help me out again. For crazy flowers? Rubellum, am I going to die? Don't you dare say that. I'm going to find something in here that will help you out, okay? I hate this world. Oh no, she became an Umbra before she died? I'm going to try. I'm going to be the best big sister that I can be. We're going to fight this cigar, I promise. That was all a lie. I couldn't do it. I couldn't save her, help her, take care of her the way she wanted to. Eternia, I'm home. I, I, I got some tea and uh, uh, some herbs and tea that might help. Eternia, Eternia, are you awake? Eternia, Eternia. Eternia, please wake up. You have to wake up. No. This can't be happening. This isn't real. Please, Eternia, please wake up. Don't leave our family. This isn't fair. Why did it have to be you? You should have had the chance to live the life you always dreamed of. And to be robbed of that, out of sure chance. Please, sis, please, you have to wake up. She didn't wake up. She died that day due to her sickness. I buried her in the neighboring forest a few days later. Hey sis, how are you doing? It's me, Rubellum, again. I just, uh, wanted to give you some flowers since I know I haven't been around much. And look, they're Pendragons, the flowers that were named after. 
Everyone's been doing fine if you're ever wondering. Brother is pesky as usual, and mom and dad are always raising a fuss. So, um, yeah, I'll just go ahead and leave these here. I know you can hear me out there, sis. I can't believe I had to watch you suffer like that. And here I am trying to talk to the dead like an idiot. I'm sorry I broke my promise to you. The memories all came back, Eternia. You're my sister, my beloved and beautiful little sister that I cherish with all my heart. It's me, Rubellum. Do you remember me? Erisu, you have interfered with us for the last time. No, I believe it's time for you to reap the rewards of your effort. I've, dri I've driven these umbrella to desperation so that they might uh, may fight the growing power and tyranny of humanity. I harvested their memories so that they would have a reason to fight. And now, that darkness will kill you. They who had the clips on their hand rules the entire fate of humanity and Umbra. Why did you leave me, Rubellum? Why did I die? Why did... 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 I'm sorry, I tried my damn best to help you. I researched day and night, day out to give you even a glimpse of light. I know this world has been unkind, unfair, and it's terrible that it happened to you. But know that I still love you, just like an older sister would. No, Eternia, don't do this! Don't! Wolf! My place is up there. I should not be here. There's so much rage flowing through her. I've never seen as much power from a wraith as I have this particular one. Rowan, why did you revive me? Rowan. Why am I here? My dear Eternia, they will never be able to comprehend your power. You are born of the power of the Calypso. You are the catalyst for this world's destruction. World's destruction? Erisu, you leave her alone, you damn monster. If it takes me a hundred years, I will create the world where Rowan and I can live in happiness. We won't let you cut off this world. What were you talking about, Don? Yes, I believe this world needed a reset, a restart. Humanity failed, the Umbra failed, and most importantly, I failed. So this is the coup de grace. Then the world and start over so that the Calypso may never fall into human hands. I have failed. The hatred is overwhelming them both. Rowan, I'll kill you a hundred times over if I have to. Oh no, is Richard going to trans uh, turn to a wraith? Richard, you need to cool it. There are more pressing matters at hand here. Come, Eternia. Like you said, your place is up there. You belong there. Yes, I will. Go with you, Erisu. Rowan, Don, this is my responsibility now. My place is above, in the heavens. Eternia, wait, don't go! This is starting to get confusing. We have to fight them, it's the only way. They somehow fused into a singular wraith? Be careful everyone, this wraith has a spike on it. About time you told us about spikes, we we fought one all the way back in the graveyard, remember? If we're not careful, that spike will annihilate us in no time. And some enemies have spikes inflicted on them. Spikes are powerful auras that can easily kill your party, they must be dealt with immediately. There are several different types of spikes that depend on the enemy, but there are two arch types of spikes, passive and reactionary. The first one I encountered was a passive one, huh? 
apply damage or debuff at the end of the turn. Reactionary, reactionary spikes apply a damage or debuff when the spike state is removed. It's impossible to tell which kind of spike the enemy will have, so make careful decisions. This might be a reactionary one. It- no, there's no reaction. Huh? Okay. That was a big one. Assassination. Inflicted corrosive. Damn, that's a lot of hit points, though. Way more than the previous boss. Oh, if I didn't counter that, I would have died. Literally, would have died. Wolf, I think you should help here. This seems to be a physical type boss, as far as I know. Ugh. Shield wall. What? It didn't work? That's weird. I want to lower your attack if possible. What? No, it's a passive spike. I felt that. Oh, they can recast their spikes. I didn't even know. Salvation. Let's refresh Iron Stance. That was nice. Ugh. Man, this boss is such a huge advantage right now. It's immune to tier 1 debuffs. But tier 2 apparently works better. 
Hmm. Okay, you need to give us some magic potions. Chronosai? No! How long does that last? Oh, yes, bleed. I still got that one up. Uh, elixir on rubellum, actually. Elixir on snow. Flash. Deceit Strike. Ooh, that was a good dodge. Hmm. Can you be broken? I don't think you can. Which means it's going to be very hard to extend bleed. Eat a potion. Pursue. Purge. Assassin. Assassin's Creed. Okay, we're slowly winning. Oh no, his counter thing wore off. Well, I gotta purge that too. Phantom Flash. Apathy. Yes. <laughs> Having a 50% healer really helps. <sighs> hmm. So that one, so that's good. I think you already have Shrill, so Phantom Flash would... So that would actually help. Yes. Anyways. Hmm. Magic Shrink. And you... Use Hollow Divine to stun. That worked out pretty well. Corrosive. Use an elixir on Rubellum to keep her alive. Okay.
Hmm. Valkyrie Comet. Oh no, his target rate went back to normal. Gotta recast that. Deceit Strike. The Norval Kiri Comet. Oh no, my aura wore off too. Got you. Vitality Relic. Torment. Rowan, Dawn, I will save you both. No, I won't allow it. Let me... Let me see why. It's dangerous to do this, isn't it? I'm here again. I did a transference, but yeah, if it if you get too, it might cause you to go for your final despair shift if you, you you see something really horrible. What's going on here? Doors. Why are what the? What's this about? Wolf, why were you afraid of me? Why were you ignorant to humanity's change? Gust of wind propels you backwards. Apple, you're my you're my most precious gift. It doesn't have to be this way for either of us. Why is her door closed? What does it mean for these doors to be closed on some but open on others? Maybe the closed ones are the ones who are least in danger of going for their next despair shift? I don't know. Richard, you and I had the same goal, unification. Why then do you have these feelings? No, I know I can never give you your, back your sister's life, but please forgive me. Hope, I'm sorry to destroy your home in that anger, that hatred. And finally, Rowan. I want nothing more than to be at peace with the world. Why did you do it? Why specifically my sister did you corrupt with the power of the, the Calypso? She was the perfect vessel. Thus I had to track her down. Dig her up. I can feel she'll be the perfect vessel. Don, you preached this idea to me. I can only hope it doesn't fail us both. You told me she was sick, correct? This world truly is unfair. I'm re really, I really am sorry for your loss, Rebellum. I don't believe you. You manipulated people to, in order to realize your selfish gains. You dug up my sister's grave, defiled her, and turned her into your tool for mass destruction. Selfish. No, everything I have done, I thought about the Umbra first. If that truly is a crime, then so be it. 
Because of the power of the Calypso, thousands if not hundreds of thousands of humans will lose their emotions. Do you even understand that notion, Rowan? Or did wanting to be set free from humanity mean more than anything to you? I know Dawn said she wanted to be with me, but I cannot give her that promise. We live in two completely different worlds. I live in the, with the thoughts and the prayers of the Umbra. I act in their favor. I wanted to reach a coexistence between humanity and Umbra. But Dawn thought of the idea, the Calypso. So I bade her to retrieve all three of the Calypso shards scattered all over the world. But each time the bird Arisu stopped her, Arisu made her forget each and every time. Her memories faded to dust, one by one under the wall of that devil bird. She failed. No, we failed. We failed to bring the Umbra and humanity together. So then we thought our only recourse was to destroy humanity's negativity. They wouldn't be human anymore. They wouldn't be in control of their f own thoughts or actions in that case. Your ideal world would be filled with mindless husks. And it's been done before, so it's obviously not going to succeed again. You know, Arisu said the exact same thing to me once. You are obsessed with the power of the Umbra, even though you cannot hear them anymore. Obsession. Your thoughts and memories are starting to take form, but everyone else's except for two continue to remain black coffins. These are coffins? Arisu, where are you? You are here, but you are also not here. You drift between everyone's consciousnesses and fought so effortlessly. Few people could ever attain the power of transference, yet you mastered it so easily. As I told Rowan, you are obsessed with the, that power of the Umbra, and it will drive you to kill the very thing you that you love. Eternia, your sister, your sick and frail little sister that you so easily forgot. Why don't you take our memories, Arisu? To get you to fight, to have a purpose for defending humanity. Whose side are you on? You say one thing regarding the safety and of humanity and then the Umbra. You're not making any sense, Arisu. The answer to that is bathed in mystics. But to give you the short answer, I am on neither side. I am the progenitor of the Umbra. They are the, uh, the one they refer to when humans say Umbra are gods. I was born from the hatred and sorrow regarding humans that no longer have any religion to turn to. You're protecting the Umbra, or you're protecting humanity. I protect only one thing, the Calypso. Her, his memories are fading. We shall continue this discussion at the tower. The tower? What tower? You'll see in due time, Rubellum. Wolf, that bird, Arisu, he's taking Eternia to a tower. Please tell me, do you know of any tower around here? A tower? No, there are no towers around this region. Maybe it will conveniently sprout out of the ground. What the hell? What now? Now what? Hmm, it stopped. I've got an uneasy feeling. Let's head back to Adrastia. Yeah, I want- no, I need to stop Arisu from destroying this world. And I need to save my sister no matter what. Not gonna teleport us back easily. Quest completed the shallow. Am I ready for the weeping song? That thing, although was strong, it still felt weaker than the weeping song boss. What in the gods is that? Angel Fall Tower. It's a giant tower in the middle of the sea. 
But how is that even possible? His memories are fading. We shall continue this discussion at the tower. The tower, that's where the bird Orisu is leading us. He wants to fight. He wants to draw us into a conflict. He wants me to fight my sister. Rubellum, are you going to go? Do you even have to ask? Of course I'm going to go. But how will we even get there? It's far too, uh, too far from a conventional boat and it wouldn't be mapped. You're wanting to go to that tower in the middle of the sea? I can take you there if you are really willing. What, you're willing to do that for us? I work for the Dahlia Corporation. This could be a great discovery for all of us in our corporation. Always thinking about the moolah. I can help you out whenever you are ready. Let's look for side quests first. Might be a good time to actually complete that quest. Well, wait, I'll link. Let's do it. Seems like we've got no other choice. Great, and talk to me again when you want to head to, for that tower. This seems like it will be our final fight. Let's make sure we're all prepared before we go. Copy that. Our last fight, eh? I wonder what makes you say that. The Calypso is born from the hatred of humanity. If that really is the case, we need to stop Eternia from destroying humanity's emotions. Let's get going, there's a long way ahead of us. A lot of side quests. Belter, Ferelta, Adalia, and Amalfia. And in Cassandra. That didn't put anything for the main quest, though. Huh. Thanks for tuning in to this Let's Play of Even for Eternia. If you enjoyed, please leave a like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon.